You know that autumn is officially here because it's getting a lot colder. As you could probably tell from the background noise, it's too windy to do anything in the garden today. Or at least you wouldn't be able to hear me talk properly. So I've got my lapel mic. It's something that I've been not trying to do these days because it comes with a long cord and I usually trip over them. So I prefer not using this. But for this episode, I just decided to do a sit-down talk, you know, just to relax the pace a bit. <laughs> Alright, on to the topic. There are two plant festivals that I'm looking forward to every year. The first being the Cactus and Succulent Society event and it's usually held during our springtime it's around October and you've already seen my video about it if not I'll link it down below and the second festival takes place in autumn and in fact it's already happening now that festival is the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show and it happens every autumn. It starts Wednesday and goes all the way through to the weekend. It is a five-day affair. So this Flower and Garden Show happens this week. And this year, 2018, it marks the 23rd year that it has been going. So they have been doing this thing for quite a while now. If you look at their website, their, web, their website states, Hosting over 100,000 show visitors across the five days, the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show is once again set to amaze, delight, and inspire enthusiasts in March 2018 with its unique balance between living art and Australian lifestyle. As Australia's leading landscape and floral designers demonstrate their skill and imagination through an array of innovative and creative design. I've been to this show for the past several years and I haven't missed a single one since. I've been going to these shows even before I found out that I was into gardening. That tells you how big and fun it is as an event and inclusive because not only do gardeners and landscapers enjoy this thing, even the casuals because you get to see autumn colors, some lovely show, a lot, lot of designs, you know, very visual. The whole thing is very visual. There are also some family fun events, some place for kids to play. I think there was a tree house the last time and a, a petting zoo, all sorts of stuff. So. There's something for everyone. Last year, my mom-in-law and I got crazy with all the sales going on and we came home with a bunch of plants. From memory, I think I only brought 100 in cash with me but I ended up spending a lot more than that because some of the vendors would accept cards. There were lots of plants that I wanted to grab so, so yeah, it's easy to lose yourself out there. But apart from the retail booths, there's also a section showing display gardens from various artists and landscapers. And I am hoping to gather some design inspiration just looking at their work. There are all sorts of designs, different themes. Some, some are rustic, some are modern, some are all sorts of stuff. And it's always fun seeing the new ones every year. It's never the same every year. And this is why I look forward to it every single time. The garden show starts this week and goes all the way through to the weekend. So if you find yourself in Melbourne, you should definitely check it out. I'd like to express my thanks to all my Patreon supporters, that's you, Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Kui, Camille Cerillo, Narvaez, Gloria Ninotti, and everyone else. Thank you so much for your continued support. I can't thank you enough for the overwhelming support that you're giving me. It's really pushing me to do more and improve my series as I go along. 
And of course, if you haven't seen it yet, thank you so much, Oscarino, for picking Rick Astley. That was pretty awesome of you to do, man. Again, about the show, I was hoping to attend it at least once before it ends because I have a feeling that I might not be able to properly cover it in, in a single day. I plan to go around, take videos and photos of the whole thing. So, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> if the first day won't be enough, then I might go for another day. It depends on whether we have plans this weekend or not. But we'll see. And if everything goes well, you could expect the video to drop on Monday. I am not yet sure which days I would be going for. And for most of the time, I might be behind my camera. I would be wearing this Soilworks cap. If you happen to bump into me, don't forget to say hi. And this might even earn you a cameo in that episode. So having said that, I'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.